So we start this year with animal nutrition. We are going to look at the different uh, digestive um, cycles or what the inside look, looks like of certain animals like the cow, the chicken and uh, the pig. And we're going to start with the cow today. So before we start with the cow, the first thing to mention is that different animals have different types of digestive systems. So meaning the intestines look a little bit different. And the main reason for this is because they eat different things. So the first thing they show us there is monogastrics or the monogastric animals. Uh, some examples are dogs, pigs, horses, cats, and us humans. And what does monogastric mean? Mono means one, gastric refers to the intestines, and basically this means that we have one stomach. Then you have the second um, group, ruminants. Uh, they are cattle basically, cows, sheep, and deer as well. And the ruminants, what their definition is, they have more than one stomach compartment. So they still do have one stomach. So in grade 10, we said uh, that it's an animal with, with four stomach, well, four stomachs or more than one stomach. Yeah, I accepted it, but it's actually not that accurate because these animals do still have one stomach, but each stomach is subdivided into different compartments or areas. So the cow has four stomach compartments, but some of the other animals could have less than four or maybe more than four. Okay, I think it's rarely more than four, but usually less. Um, so just to say more than one stomach compartment for the definition is correct. Then the third one we see there is poultry. So all the birds, they categorize together, chickens, turkeys, and ostriches. But if you do give me or say that uh, chickens are an example of a monogastric animal, that is fine. But you can't, unfortunately, categorize it as a ruminant because it has that one stomach area and it's not subdivided into different categories. So later you'll see when we do the intestine of the chicken. So first, or again, I just want to mention that uh, these different animals, they, the intestines look different. Why? Because they eat different things. So for the pig there, they say, again, it's monogastric. The reason why it has only the one stomach is mainly because it eats non-roughage. That means everything except grass and plants and so on. So roughage refers to things that are tough and hard to eat. It has mainly cellulose, uh, cellulose and it's like your plant material. So they, pigs t technically eat anything. You can, you can throw them meat, you can throw them veggies, fruits, uh, so many different things. They will actually literally eat a human if it's like a corpse. So they can eat anything. So they get usually a balanced ration, high protein, vitamins, minerals in from everything they eat. And it says that the last bullet that they get a concentrated ration and that means it has a lot of nutrients in it. So they're fine. They only need the one stomach. Got, it's got digestive juices and they can digest anything. Whereas the picture of the sheep, the ruminant, they only mainly eat roughage. So grass, clover, all those types of plant material because they graze outside, but even just from the grass, they actually get a complete um, ration. So that's good enough for them. They have a special, or I want to say a superpower that helps them actually to get the protein and all the other nutrients they need just from grass. So basically all they eat is roughage. So that's why the intestines look different than say a monogastric animal. So again, ruminants versus monogastric animals. So show a couple of pictures there to compare the two or show you examples of them. And then the bottom two pictures show the stomachs. So still both pictures, the blue and red ones, show you it's one stomach, but the blue one is subdivided into different compartments. And this is specifically what a cow's stomach actually looks like. So the first compartment we come across is called the rumen. Second one, reticulum. Third, omasum. And fourth, we find the abumasum. You guys will have to memorize these four words. So let's look at these four compartments in a bit more detail. So okay, before we do that, sorry, I forgot about the slide. Uh, this shows us where exactly these four compartments are located. So let's just hope my arrow works with me. The food obviously comes in at the mouth of the cow, goes down the esophagus. And then the first compartment, sorry, they get to, is the rumen. So this is also the largest compartment. This is this dark pink area at the back. So the largest one is the rumen, also happens to be the shortest word and it starts with an R. The second word, or the word with, uh, you know, the second word that starts with an R is the reticulum. This is the longer word that starts with an R, and it happens to be the smallest compartment. So always, if you try and remember what is the order of things, think R, R, O, A. 
So it spells rower. So rumen, the shorter word will be first, reticulum second, O and A, omasum, abomasum. So after the reticulum, we get to the dark pink, and that's the omasum. Then from here, the food goes into the abomasum, and then through into the intestines and out the body. So this is the picture, uh, well, a similar picture. You can get something similar or maybe stretched out in a test or an activity and so on. So this is basically what to expect in an exam. A here would be the esophagus. How do we know this? Because it enters into the largest stomach compartment at the back there, which is E, the rumen. Then from here, it will go to B, the uh, reticulum, which is just underneath the esophagus. Then from here, we go to D, the omasum, and then to the abomasum at C, then the intestines. Okay, so here's just another picture showing all the labels. The previous one was to test the other kids to see whether they actually um, realized or listened to what the different compartment names were. Uh, just one thing I want to mention is that from the abomasum, we go to the small intestine, and here it indicates it's the beginning of the duodenum, and the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. So, in more detail, the different compartments. Firstly, we have the rumen. So, the rumen is lined with papilla, and papilla are kind of like villi, which we find in the small intestine. But please don't use the word villi. I want to hear um, the word or see the word papilla for the rumen. So the rumen itself kind of looks like, well, sheep's wool. It kind of looks like a carpet with these little projections everywhere, or little finger-like projections. And these are the papilla. So what do they do? They increase the surface area to better absorb any vitamins and amino acids already in the rumen. So they help with the absorption. Fun fact, the first bullet, it is also the largest compartment of the stomach. Secondly, it's tempor it temporarily stores food. So the cow chews the food, swallows the bolus, um, bolus of food, it goes into the rumen, then it's stored there for maybe an hour or two, then as soon as the cow has finished grazing, it goes, li goes and lies down somewhere and then regurgitates all the food back into his mouth. So then it re-chews everything. So it only gets stored in the rumen for a short while and then it gets re-chewed and then when it gets swallowed again, it goes to the reticulum. So the third bullet here as well says thousands of bacteria help digestion. So this compartment has a lot of bacteria on the inside and also other microorganisms. The second one is the reticulum. And you can see in the picture, it is quite fascinating because it actually looks, well, they talk about a honeycomb shape, the first bullet. It's difficult to see because it doesn't really have a hexagon shape. If I can just get my arrow back. But technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, supposed to be if it's a hexagon. So it's supposed to have six corners, kind of like an actual honeycomb which bees make. So that's the, the telltale way that this is actually um, what the second compartment looks like. It's also the smallest compartment, as I mentioned. Thirdly, the third bullet, it aids regurgitation, the rechewing. So from here, all the food goes back into the mouth for rechewing. And the fourth bullet, it also catches foreign objects. This is actually a very important function of this compartment. Foreign objects can be things like wires, nails, any metal objects that cows are definitely not supposed to eat, but most of them are not very bright. So they will ingest anything on in a, in a felt or in a field. So on a farm, usually if there is weird stuff lying around, they will chew it. So luckily this pouch catches it, and then when they re-chew things or regurgitate everything back into their mouth, they just hopefully throw up all the bad stuff they're not supposed to swallow, because that will also tear their intestines on the inside and cause damage. So then the third one, the omasum, it actually looks like uh, the pages of a book that's inside, and these little, not wires, the little spikes on the pages, uh, they have also papilla. So the papilla help with the absorption of fatty acids, the second bullet. And thirdly, this entire compartment, think O for water. So the, the word omasum starts with an O. So as soon as you see this, think H2O for water. And that's exactly what it does. It absorbs most water and dries the digested food before it eventually goes to the rest of the intestines. Okay, then the last the compartment, after the omasum, it goes to the abomasum. 
and this picture looks like organized chaos and that's basically also what the inside of our stomachs look like so we can see it's a little bit wetter on the inside and that is because it has digestive juices on the inside enzyme digestion happens here it has hydrochloric acid among other juices so this compartment is known as the true stomach why because like our stomachs in humans it does digestion and has the enzymes second bullet it also does a protein digestion it only or well, it starts here protein is not digested until it hits the abomasum then this picture just shows us again the direction the food flows so from the mouth after the food has been eaten gets swallowed go to the rumen and then it goes to the reticulum. From here, it gets regurgitated back into the mouth, rechewed, re-swallowed, and then goes to the omasum, abomasum, and through the rest of the intestines. You also have to look at the intestines themselves. So the small intestine starts with the duodenum, that green bit at the top there. That's the first section. Then from the duodenum, the food will move to the yeyenum and then the ileum. Okay, it does not show it in the picture, but then we've got the large intestine at the back here. So just by the way, this is what our intestines look like because this is one stomach. So this is basically a picture of what we look like on the inside. But the cow has the same uh, sections of small intestine. I just couldn't find the right picture. Okay, so this big or the large intestine is basically your colon. Then you get to the rectum and the anus where the food goes out. So what is the function of the small intestine? Absorption of most nutrients. This picture here shows us what the inside looks like. You don't have to remember the labels and so on. This is simply just for demonstration. And what I want to get to are these finger-like projections on the side. It kind of looks like spikes. So this is where life sciences comes in because we did this last year. So if you zoom in on one of these fingers, this is what it looks like over here. So the inside of these finger-like projections. And what are they? They are villi. So more than one or one of these villi is called a villus, and the plural is villi. So this picture technically shows us three. Here's one, two, three of these finger-like projections. And then you guys have to remember what it looks like on the inside. The green bit is actually part of the lymph system called a lacteal. And the lacteal actually absorbs fats. So that is the main function of it. Um, fats get absorbed into it. And then your blood capillaries, the artery and the vein, is there to absorb anything else, like your proteins, carbohydrates, and so on. Then something else I want you guys to actually realize is that there are special cells on the outside of the villus called goblet cells, and they secrete mucus. So the function of the mucus is actually to help lubricate the inside of the small intestine and this helps let lubricate the food so the food can actually better be absorbed uh, the nutrients and so on then the second thing that is new we find it in between uh, the two villi so this is one villus second one in between of them this um what is a half moon shape in between the two of them we get the crypt of lubricin and this area actually secretes um, digestive juices. So again, the digestive juices help to digest all the food. And overall, what is the main function of the villi? To absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. Then I just gave homework for everybody. Uh, to sketch basically the cow with its digestive um, system on the inside and also to add labels of each piece. This picture obviously does not have the labels. And then also the functions underneath each label or next to each label. So this is actually a good way to summarize the, the entire PowerPoint presentation we just went through. So that this will be very good for you guys when you actually go study and yeah, study your work. Um, a quick way to... Um, make yourself remember what all the different areas inside the cow's stomach does.